Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about getting into the festive spirit, starting with a yummy coffee, of course, in a festive mug, of course, and some ginger cookies. So the recipe for these cookies will be up on my blog, but I also have a festive video from a few years ago as well where I made them with my mom. So depending on how long you want to think about ginger cookies for, you can either watch the video or go to my blog and it is a wonderful recipe it bakes up soft and chewy they can be crunchy if you wanted them to be but I really like them this way and they always put me in a festive mood I always tend to make them around this time of the year they have a good amount of ginger so a little tiny bit of heat that I think distinguishes them from store-bought cookies so once I have those in hand, it's time to get ready. And this video is kindly sponsored by Lancôme. They sent me the most wonderful array of products that you're seeing here. And so I decided to do a little festive glam look but nothing too makeup-y because none of us will be celebrating in an overly dressy way this year, I don't think. So I thought I would just show you how I like to use them for a pretty classic glam look with a little bit of sparkle. One of my favorite products that they sent is this beautiful highlighter. So you'll see me try everything on. And always, when I get ready in the morning, I have my furry audience. I have a feeling that BB has been giving Sammy private lessons because all of a sudden she seems to feature in the background of my videos in a sneaky way that I don't expect because she used to be a little bit more afraid of the camera. But it's fun to have her there getting ready for the Vlogmas season. So once the cookies are finished, it's time to get my face a little bit more ready. You can see it's not at its best in that I have a lot of redness around my nose right now and my chin from wearing masks. I'm sure we can all sympathize with each other on a surprisingly global basis about that. And then I applied the primer that Lancôme sent me, which is the Prep and Matte. And I've never tried this product before. It's quite an opportunity for me to try a lot of new things all at once, which is a treat and makes the day feel extra exciting. Um, and I loved how this mattified my face without drying it out or making it feel overly slick. Since it's oil free, you don't get that super silicone-y kind of feeling. Then I applied a thin layer of the Lancôme Teint Idol foundation, which is such a long wearing foundation. It lasted all throughout the day, throughout mask wear and everything, and I love that it didn't split. That's something that can happen a lot with the heat of a mask and honestly just the oiliness of your face throughout the day due to its pH, um, depending on you know how your skin is doing at that particular moment in time. And this foundation is specially formulated not to do that and also comes in 50 shades, so you should be able to find something that matches your skin and then for highlight i use a dual finish highlighter in shimmering buff across the cheekbone and in radiant rose gold in order to blend in my favorite blush so that it wouldn't be too bright then went back to shimmering buff for the eyelid and i just applied a very thin wash all over the eye i think it gives such a nice shimmering finish but it's not too glittery or chunky so it won't get in your eyes and it looks really pretty on photos and video calls and all of those good things that you are holding we're gonna get to do to catch up with loved ones this season then you can see how much more open and awake my eyes look after a nice lashing of monsieur big mascara i decided to go for a bold lip and this is the momentous first time in 2020 that i have worn lipstick i believe so i blotted it in a little bit so it wouldn't come off throughout the day or be overly bright and then added a little bit of shine with the wonderful classic Lancôme Juicy Tubes which remind me so much of being a teenager. They came out right when I was in high school and this is the color Magic Spell which has a pretty gold little flecks of shimmer in it and you can see I then decided to treat myself to an at-home manicure. So my tiramisu for two colored nails were growing out quite badly, also damaged from making lots of Christmas elf um, jewelry for Nouvelle Pearl that I've been sending out nonstop. So I decided to treat myself to some nice dark bold nails that have a nice burgundy color so this is one of my favorite colors and I think I've gotten pretty decent at this dip polish system. It's never perfect but it manages to be 
nice enough and long lasting enough that I don't miss um, getting professional treatments. I have kind of found it very relaxing to do it myself um, at home the last few months. So it's got a couple of steps. It's definitely a little bit time consuming, but getting a nail drill to take off the top layer of the polish and then soak it off saves a lot of time. And the start to finish um, time that it takes me is about an hour. So it's about the same as it would be in a salon. If there are any little lumps or bumps, you can always file them away and then finish off with the top coat of the process. So all in all, I love how shiny and hard it makes my nails and how it completes this festive makeup look. So thank you so much for supporting my channel by watching this video. If you'd like to see more festive content this season, then give it a like and subscribe. Un grand merci to Lancôme for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to check out any of the products I mentioned, they have weekly offers going on this season. So everything I mentioned will be in the info bar down below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more festive content, then make sure to stay tuned for the first day of Vlogmas coming out very soon.